welcome to this new session. In this session, I will talk about projects, processes, and programs. I will describe the difference between projects and processes and introduce the concept of programs and what they mean related to projects. At the end of the session, I will show you some examples of programs. Let's have a look at the differences between projects and processes. A project is a unique venture while a process is ongoing and different steps are repeated. Projects are limited in time while processes are ongoing or never ending. A project ends when all the work has been completed. A process ends when the economic reality changes. This means that, for example, when a company is launching a new car model, that the production of the old model will stop. But what about projects and programs? In some cases, it's interesting to group projects in programs, but what is the reason? First of all, when we look at projects, the project managers only have responsibilities related to their own projects. They have no authority over other projects and they cannot coordinate between different projects. In order to optimize the management of interlinked projects, they can be combined in a program. And in that case, the program manager is responsible for the program and has the authority over all the projects in the program. Very large projects can be too complex to be managed by one project manager. In that case, we will call them programs. And those programs can be subdivided in smaller projects. Each project is managed by a project manager, but a program manager has the oversight of the entire program. The program manager has authority over all the project managers. Another element that we can introduce here is related to programs and system thinking. System thinking relates to the system, to the success of an entire system, or in our case, a program. Let's consider a team cycling event. We know those from the Tour de France, and we know that the time is set by the last person crossing the finish. Faster cyclists have no positive effect on the final result of the race. In order to get a better result, those better cyclists will have to help the weaker people so they can cross the finish faster. The team as a system improves the total output, not the output of the individual projects. The program output is the prime concern of the program manager. The program may even include some projects that are not efficient, even result in a loss or perform below standard in other parameters, but they are of key importance for the success of the project as a whole. Let's have a look at some examples of programs. A well-known program is the NASA space program. We can also consider large building projects where we have an integration of different techniques and specialities. Programs of developing new airplanes are well known too. Large IT programs like development of white area networking, WAN or WAN, are and international connectivity are also typical programs. Building amusement parks like Disneyland or others, and we can always find a set of projects that have some elements in common that we can combine in a program. There must be a lot more examples available and you will be able to understand and identify them now. So basically this is another session that is completed. I thank you for your attention and I see you at the next session. Have a nice day. Thank you very much and bye bye.